Welcome back to the 2018 Audi Quattro Winter Games. Once again, this event has attracted competitors from around the globe to compete at the Southern Hemisphere's largest snow sports event. 2018 Audi Quattro Winter Games is a big one. This year we've got not only returning Olympians, people with medals out of Pyeongchang, including our local favourites, uh, coming back and competing, but we've also got the FIST Junior Freestyle Ski and Snowboard World Championships. And that's really the best of the best, and that's the future of the sport. I mean, annual offers a whole lot of opportunities, but to get the juniors, it's start of that next pathway. We'll see people this year that um, will go on and win plenty of medals in Beijing 22. So we'll follow them through the next three years through our World Cups, so it's, it's great. Look, New Zealand's blessed. We've got world-class venues and, you know, snow and ice. So, you know, Kedrona Alpine Resort for the park and pipe, snow farm for the cross country. We've got Coronic Peak for the Alpine events. We've got Remarkables for the Frontier. You know, it's pretty special. All of those are world-class venues. The slopestyle events at the Audi Quattro Winter Games are nothing short of spectacular. And later in the week, competitors will look to continue the tradition of outstanding competition on the Cadrona course. With the FIS Junior World Champs as part of the program, the best up-and-coming free ski and snowboard talent the world has to offer are out to make the podium. The level of competition here is really high. We've got athletes here from all over the world. We've got X Games gold medalists, World Cup podium winners, Olympic medalists. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's a big comp, probably the biggest comp of the year. The progression, it's crazy. All these kids are throwing super gnarly tricks, so you definitely have to push yourself, but I think it's good. It's good for the sport. Uh, everyone uh, doing triples front triples, back triples, uh, more uh, rotations, uh, corks, it's uh, more and more uh, hard. Also looking to match the progression of the athletes, the crew at Cadrona have produced another testing course that both challenges and excites the competitors. The course is really fun, it's got a lot of technical stuff up top, they're trying to figure it out, it's uh, a little different, not quite your standard slope style runs. Definitely different than I expected, I guess I'd say. I haven't really seen features like this. Uh, it's kind of weird, this, the first rail, and the other two are pretty cool to do some cool tricks. I think the rail is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, uh, in Ukraine, uh, we have, uh, haven't uh, rail like this, so it's uh, nice uh, for me. <laughs> They're warming up to the course. It's a pretty tricky rail section with a bunch of different angulations and rail features that they're not used to. So figuring that out and then the jumps are fantastic. The course is epic. It's a big, tough, challenging course. So looking forward to seeing what our, our next generation can do. The smart competitors, they're focused on their own game. Yeah, they've got performance goals. They've got their run in mind that they want to land. And if they control the controllables and put the performance out there that they can do, the results will speak for themselves, so that should be the focus. Across from the slope style course is the newly completed border cross course. It's become a labour of love for one of the world's most experienced course builders. Hi, my name's Todd Main. I've been grooming for 18 years, coming on close to 40 seasons now. Building a course like this, on this scale, I'm probably averaging 14 hours a day, 100, 200 hours for a course that takes less than a minute for people to get down. <laughs> hey Todd, I heard you might be hungry. Would you like lunch brought to you? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. We're doing a combined ski air and water cross, and they're both quite different in the way they that they ride the course. You know, back when we first started the it was a lot, a lot of handwork, and the machines were pretty basic. And now uh, the technology that's gone into these machines, uh, you know, specifically for building park and and features, is, is unreal. So I feel pretty privileged to be to be able to get in there and push snow around. It, it's pushing snow around; it's great fun. The final result, having this perfectly shaped course with people racing down it, you're going to see some top riding and skiing from these athletes. They're um, they're unreal. It's it's awesome. 
Hello and welcome to the top of the course here at Cadrona Alpine Resort and we are here for the FIS Junior Freestyle Ski World Championships for 2018 and we are kicking things off with the ladies ski cross event and the weather is near perfect and the list of competitors that have battled it out is second to none. We'll be starting with a small final and we'll see the athletes battling it out for fifth to eighth place. We've got four British skiers in the small final and the final as we see the lineup for this small final. Kate Richards from New Zealand, just 15 years old from Wanaka, will be wearing the yellow bib. Nikola Frakova from Slovakia will be wearing the black bib. Zoe Winthrop from GB wearing red and Faith Davy in the blue bib. And we are ready, and the skiers are on course. A good explosive start into the first little roller. Very steep, tricky to keep your balance. And the skiers trying to get into the aerodynamic tuck position as quickly as possible. Setting up for the big left-hand carver over the rollers. And it's Zoe Winthrop from Great Britain who's out in front as she takes the table jump pretty smoothly. So a pretty good lead over Nikola Frakova of Slovakia. And surely that is uh, an unassailable lead as she comes down to the finish and across the line. So Zoe Winthrop from Great Britain will take fifth position, winning this small final from Nikola Frakova. <laughs> And now we check out the replay. So a solid start from all the competitors here for the small final of the ladies ski cross. The winner from the beginning, the lady in red from Great Britain. All the skiers taking the table jump pretty smoothly, but they're fairly spread out as they get past the midway point in the course and down towards the finish. It's an easy run in for Zoe to win the small final and take fifth place overall. And now we are back to the top of the course for the ladies' big final. Emma Peters from Great Britain, the 20-year-old will be wearing yellow. Mazzy Hayden, Team USA in the black bib. Elaine Hall from Great Britain in the blue and Michaela Martin of Canada in the red bib. They're ready. On course. A very tight start. Nothing in it. Again, it looks like it's the red bib sneaking out in front, and that is Michaela Martin from Canada. Mazzy Hayden, Team USA in second place. And again, already a bit of distance between each of the skiers as they take oh. the table jump into the big left-hander. Good technical skiing, as we would expect at this level. Superb pictures here at Cadrona. Over the final roller. And it is Michaela Martin of Canada who takes first position and the gold medal from Mazzy Hayden, Team USA. Yes, and as we can see there, Hugh, there is only three competitors that have crossed the line. Unfortunately, it looks like Emma Peters from Great Britain has had the misfortune of a fall. We hope the competitor is okay. We're going to check out the replay and see what went wrong. Now, as they come into this tabletop here before the left-hand turn, there you see her in the yellow. It looks like she was a little heavy on the right foot and that has, unfortunately for that competitor, made her come unstuck. She kind of just brownie. The skis were like this. Holy moly, I could barely hold an edge through that. Yeah, it was bad. Well, it looks like a fairly bad crash as we see Emma being uh, taken off. And what we can only hope is uh, precautionary. We wish her well. And making our way back to the top of the course, it is the ski cross for the men. We are going to see the small final, then witness the big final. And again, list of competitors are top notch. Very competitive. As we 
look at the athletes preparing at the top of the course. Small final first, so just to remind you, that's fifth to eighth place overall. And we have got Robbie Morrison in the red bib. Tetsuya Furuno from Japan in the black bib. Ben Richards in yellow and Philip Tremblay of Canada in blue. They're off. Oh, a little bit off balance over that first obstacle, but it is indeed Robbie Morrison from Australia who has taken the lead and got a bit of air between him and Tetsuya Furuno of Japan, who is in second place as they come to the table jump. They all take that pretty neatly. Good technical skiing. The turns and rollers come at you so quickly on this course. And really, it's over before you know it. Tight for second and third, but it's Robbie Morrison of Australia who wins the small final and takes fifth place overall from Tetsuya Furuno of Japan. As we look at the slow motion replay, a very tight start. The Aussie from the get-go had the lead and he was not letting that go. Plenty of speed all the way through, nice transition through the burns and holding that all the way to the victory. What a great small final to kick things off into the big final. Oliver Davies of Great Britain will be wearing the yellow bib. Sandro Siebenhofer in blue. Maxime Vikrov in red. And Douglas Crawford in the black bib. And they're on course. Really powerful start from all of them. A little bit of argy-bargy to determine who gets into first place. And it's Oliver Davis in the yellow bib. Now, can he hold it all the way to the bottom? Hold off the charge from the other three competitors. Over the table, jump sets up nicely for the big left-hander. And there's a fall. Looked as if there might have even been a little bit of contact. So three left in it. And Oliver Davis with a good lead. Surely he can take this down across the finish line and sure enough that is first place and the gold medal from Oliver Davis from Guildford Great Britain in second place Sandro Siebenhofer of Austria yes what a great big final there now it was a really tight beginning of the race but as we said Soon as Oliver got out there, he was not letting that go. Look at that, how tight these competitors are there. And as they come around that first corner, it was all Oliver, the man in the yellow from Great Britain. And this is where Mr. Crawford looks like he came a little unstuck. And there was a little hiccup there, knocked into his skier's left, run into the pole, and that will push him into fourth position. Unbelievable event, and it's gold and the world title for Oliver Davis from Guildford, Great Britain. Awesome. Next level. And back to the top of the course, and we are on the same course for the FIS Junior World Championships for 2018, and we're going to kick things off with the ladies' small final in the snowboard cross. And what a lineup we have in the black bib at the top of the course, we've got Vendula Burasova of the Czech Republic and her teammate Katarina Luthanova in the red bib. Christina Taylor from Australia, just 17 years old, wearing the yellow bib. And Ali Nowicki, Team USA in blue. They're ready. Attention. On course. Good, strong start by all four of them. Uh, who's going to get into the lead? We've seen how important it is to get into the lead. If you can do that, you've got a good chance of holding it all the way to the bottom. And it's Katarina. Oh, and as I say that, two borders down. And Katarina Luthanova was in first place, but she has fallen. And it leaves Ali Nowicki battling it out with Vendula Burasova of the Czech Republic, who currently 
is in first place and looks as if she should hold this down across the finish line. And sure enough, she does. So that will put her in fifth place overall with Ali Nowicki of Team USA in sixth. But a couple of crashes and disappointment for Christina Taylor and Katarina Luthanova. Yes, Katarina Lupinova and Christina Taylor unfortunately coming unstuck mid-race. And it was just two girls that had to battle it out. But look, we saw the Aussie just a little heavy on her toes. Nearly scorpioned. But it was these two girls holding it down. Plenty of speed, plenty of control all the way to the end. Making our way back to the top of the course here for the border cross, and we are into the ladies' final. Podium places to be decided. And it's between Sophie Hedeger of Switzerland in the yellow bib, Christina Paul of Russia in the blue bib, Livia Molodai, Team USA, wearing red, and Emily Boyce of Australia in the black bib. They're ready, they're on course. Again, a tight start. But it's Christina Paul of Russia who's at the front of the pack. And a little bit of distance between her and Olivia Molodai. Oh, and a few judders. The course is holding up well, but uh, you can see a few little tracks and lines forming. In the back seat there as well from Olivia Molodai and she's lost a little bit more distance as they come to the last big roller and sure enough in the blue bib Christina Paul off Russia celebrates as she takes the gold medal now what an amazing way for Christina Paul to end her junior campaign in border cross you could say she was a bit of a favourite from the beginning, taking up first in the quarters and first in the semi-finals. And she has had two Junior World Cup victories in this event before. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will be her third. Well, we really have seen some fantastic competition here at Cadrona. And uh, lovely to see celebrations of this nature in the sunshine. Slow motion highlights out the start there. Very tight. But it was Christina Paul of Russia who got into the lead. And with her ability and talent, it was going to be hard for anyone to challenge her. And she held it from start to finish. Superb pictures of this challenging course here at Cadrona in the sunshine. One or two of the boarders having a little trouble with some of the little ruts and lines that have developed in the course over the big last roller across the line and Christina Paul winning the gold medal and the World Junior Championship title. And a huge event for all the female competitors as we make our way to the snowboard cross for the men's and we're going to see the small final and the big final. These guys have been battling it out on the course all day and now it's go time. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. And first up in the small final, we have got Zachary Stewart from America in the yellow bib, Yoshiki Takahara of Japan in the black bib, Evan Bichon of Canada in the red, and Christian Holman of Norway in the blue bib. They're in the start, they're ready. Oh, and an explosive start, really powerful. All of them into the first little ridge together. Who's going to come out the front? It's Christian Holman of Norway. And we've seen how important it is to get into the lead. The question is, can he hold it? Hold off the challenge all the way to the finish. Really smooth over the rollers. Into the tabletop jump. So Yoshiki Takahara challenging, but losing speed. And it's Evan Bechon of Canada, who is now in second place, but too much of a gap. And uh, there we go. We have 
our fifth place through to eight decided. Christian Holman of Norway taking fifth place and winning the small final. Yes, the Norwegian tied at the beginning through the Wu-Tang, but it was straight after that where it slows a lot of the competitors down. He managed to keep that speed around the corner and into the step down. And for him, as soon as he got around this chicane, he would say, I am not letting this lead go. A couple of four or one little bum scratch, but still the man in blue all the way down. A little bit of a claim there and winding the windows up as he walks away with the victory of the small final and we're back to the top for the final. Four riders battle it out down a course that is not only steep and narrow in sections, but has a number of challenging features. Riders need to maximize speed, skill and control. And in saying that, we are making our way into the final here at the men's border cross. This is it, the men's final. Jake Vedder from America in the yellow bib. Elliot Grondon of Canada, just 17 years old in the red bib. Mike Lacroix, Team USA in the blue and Maximilian Rathgeb of Germany in the black pit. Starter just getting them ready. Last moments of preparation and focus. And they're on course. Really tight. Now, who is going to sneak the lead over that roller? And it's... Jake Vedder in the yellow bib. And he's already got a little bit of air between him and second place, Mike Lacroix. Looks as if the battle's gonna be between second and third and a couple of little mistakes on that right-hander. And some contact there. And that's Mike Lacroix who has sat down and is out of it. And another fall. So we've now lost Maximilian Rathgeb. And over the finish, Jake Vedder, Team USA, from Elliot Grondon of Canada. And there we have it, gold and silver medals. And disappointment for Mike Lacroix and Maximilian Rathgeb of Germany. Dude, you landed on my head. Oh, no, right next to you. You! Let's go! Jake Vetter from the United States of America, a favourite here at the World Championships as he had the lead from the beginning and there was no slowing this gentleman down as he comes through the chicanes into the first step down. And here. Well, definitely, uh, definitely contact there. Well, that was uh, Elliot Grondon nearly landing on Mike Lacroix and knocking Mike out of the course. Yes, but as we said, and as we all know, it was Mr. Jake Vetter around the final chicane, and he was the clear leader there, and nothing was holding this man back as he hits a final step down for the victory. Well, two borders down. Nice job, man. But that left it very clear for gold and silver. Exciting way to end the snowboard cross here at Cadrona. Final results, ladies skier cross, Michaela Martin of Canada with the gold medal. It's the best in the world here. And the girls that I was up against are top competitors. So I just had to focus and I was able to perform today. I'm a little speechless. <laughs> it's still sinking in. And in the ladies' snowboard cross, it was Christina Paul of Russia who took gold from Olivia Molodai, Team USA. And the bronze medal went to Sophie Hedinger of Switzerland. For the men's skier cross, it was Oliver Davies of Great Britain taking the gold medal. Final race that I went to went perfect. Through the heats before, I kind of held back because I knew I just wanted to get through the finals and save some energy. And come the finals, I knew I had a game plan and knew I needed to do and executed it on point. So really happy.
while in the men's snowboard cross, Jake Vedder from Team USA taking the victory and the gold medal. Uh, it feels amazing. It's been a long four years. I've been been to Junior Worlds every four years and just have been unlucky. So I'm just really happy that we had a good game plan going in today. And um, me and my teammate, we landed on the podium. So it was amazing. It was a great day.